when you're at a restaurant, frequently there's that awkward moment when you're trying to figure out, you know, whether you should be buying your wine by the glass or by the bottle. You, you want to take charge of that awkward moment. This episode is going to, to guide you on how to do that. Are you ready? Come on, let's go. I'm Pierre and welcome to Asti Wine Consultants. You know, when eating out, the decision to buy your wine by the glass versus by the bottle depends on several factors including your preferences, the number of people dining with you, your budget, and the restaurant's wine offerings. I'm going to, to put all this together with one key phrase towards the end of this episode. Oh, and if you think you already know which is better, by the glass or by the bottle, I encourage you to stick with me. You may be surprised, particularly because I think many of us forget that this is about more than just the money component. Now picture this, you're barely seated and the very first thing that happens is the server asks you, is there something you'd like to drink? <laughs> Am I right? They do this before you've even looked at the menu. If you've ordered a glass or bottle of wine at, at that time, frequently you feel stuck in having to drink that, that wine during the rest of dinner. <laughs> Isn't that what happens? Here's my first tip, slow down. If you want a, a, a pre-meal drink, go for it. Otherwise, there's no need to order a drink just because the server asks you to. You want to, to slow the process down. Remember, you're not there to eat dinner. You're there to dine. Look at the menu and at the appetizers. Decide on your appetizers and the wine or cocktail that you'll have with your appetizers. Once you, your appetizers have been served, and you've had time to, to enjoy one another, then that's when you consider the dinner menu. Now, once you've looked at your menu and made your, your dinner selection, then and only then do you consider what wine you're going to have or your dinner party is going to have uh, for dinner. I assure you, if you allow yourself the enjoyment of, of dining this way, rather than being hurried along by the way, Steph, you'll create a dining experience rather than just eating dinner. Okay, so now we're, we're at the, the key moment. You've enjoyed some appetizers and maybe a cocktail, but here's the point where you have to decide on whether you're going to buy your wine by the glass or by the bottle. Let's look at the advantage of, of each, starting with buying by the glass. Now, in the industry, this is known as BTG, by the glass. Some of the things to consider are varietal. Buying wine, BTG, allows you to, to try different wines throughout the meal. This can be ideal if you're interested in uh, enjoying various options. Quantity. If you're dining alone or with someone who prefers not to drink much, uh, then buying by BTG ensures that you don't end up with, with excess wine that uh, may go to waste. <laughs> Although you may be thinking, go to waste? What are you talking about, go to waste? You may be like me, wine never goes to waste. Well, anyhow, uh, next up is budget friendly. It can be more budget friendly to buy wine by the glass especially if you're not planning to drink the full bottle. Pairing flexibility. Buying wine BTG allows you to, to pair different wines with each course of, of your meal. This enhances your dining experience. How are you doing there? Is this information making sense? <laughs> if it is, just write ASTI in the comments below. 
Okay, here are the things to consider and the advantages of buying your wine by the bottle. Cost effect effectiveness for groups. If you're dining with a group of people who all enjoy wine, then buying a bottle of wine can uh, be more cost effective than buying multiple glasses. This holds true, especially if, you're, if you choose a wine with a, a lower markup. Next up is a better selection. Many restaurants offer a more extensive uh, selection of wines by, by the bottle or when you buy them by the bottle, including rare or special vintages that typically are not available by the glass. Wine preservation. Buying a bottle allows you to, to control the serving temperature, ensure that the wine is fresh throughout the entire meal, and this has uh, it has time to open up, especially if you're planning to enjoy the meal over the entire period. Economical for repeat orders. If you anticipate drinking multiple glasses of the same wine, then buying a bottle up front can be more economical than ordering individual glasses. So to answer the question at hand, by the glass or by the bottle, it really does depend on your situation. You know, my hope is that you can look through the, the, the advantage that I've listed and identify which one uh, resonates with the specific circumstances of your meal and make an informed decision. Now the thing that drives the whole discussion is are you pairing your food with your wine or as I'm suggesting here, are you pairing your wine with your food? Uh, or, or, or actually, um, the, the other consideration is, are you just there just to have fun? Anyhow, if you're unsure what to order, here's the key to the whole thing. The one phrase that I mentioned earlier, the, uh, ask your server or your sommelier for their recommendations. Ask them or say something to them like, you've heard our our selections for dinner. You know what they are. What would you recommend we buy? By the bottle or by the glass? And which wines should we consider? Well, there you have it. It's that simple and easy. Until next time, cheers. Hey Posse, thanks so much for investing the time to watch this video. I trust it was helpful to you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And please consider hitting subscribe. Oh, and be sure to check out these other videos. Until next time, cheers.